In this video, I will walk you through topics on web hosting. Basically, a web hosting is a type of service that allows individuals, companies or organizations to provide their own websites which will be accessible via the World Wide Web. As you can see on this uh, browser here, webhostingtalk.com. This, this is a domain name, but this domain name currently points to a web hosting server. So that web hosting server is the location where all the files, all the pages are being created and uploaded. So with a combination of a domain name and a web hosting, then it is possible to publish a website on the internet. So just by having a domain name, you may not have or you may not able to have your own website. But with a web hosting, you can have your own website. Okay, basically there are a few types of web hosting. Uh, there can be a shared web hosting, there can be a semi-dedicated web hosting, which is also known as um, VPS, Virtual Private Server, or you can have your own dedicated server, meaning if you have your own dedicated server, the entire server is yours. You own it and you can have as many websites as you wish. Of course, um, that is limited to the resources of that uh, server, the specification of the server. But most people, for most starters, who just want a basic website on, just to host pages, just to host a few um, pages or a few services which don't require that much traffic, normally a shared web hosting is enough. So for starters, normally you will go for shared hosting and that is the cheapest service that you can find on the internet. Furthermore, right now there are thousands of companies offering web hosting. So in this page that you see right now, this is called webhostingtalk.com and as far as I'm concerned, this is the largest and the most busiest forum about web hosting. That is why I truly recommend that you go to this website, webhostingtalk.com. Okay, now you want to search for a web hosting account. So which company should you take? By nature. If you want to find a web hosting, someone or a begin, beginner or newbie like me, especially when I just started online, I will go to google.com and search for this keyword, something like this, top web host. And you can see a couple of, uh, a lot of um, uh, searches appear on this page. There are many, many web hosts and many companies offering web hosting. So it's very um, difficult for you to choose, especially if you just started, because too many companies and too many people say different things. Some may say this is the best. You also find uh, some reviews, especially biased reviews. This is what I'm going to touch on for now. If I search, after I search this um, uh, keyword, top web host, and press search, this is the search that I get right now and you can see and this is a warning to you because based on my experience not all of these um, websites provide an unbiased review not all that means why are they doing this so now let's say we open a new tab here you can see the domain name is top 10 web hosting but how do you determine that is a top 10 what is the criteria? What is the yardstick to measure? I've I've served many websites like this, and basically I can tell you that some of them have biased reviews. The reason why they do this is because they are affiliates, and so because they are resellers, their main priority is to get as many commissions as possible. So sometimes they look through all these companies which provide the highest commissions and they will just promote based on that and sometimes even the reviews themselves are uh, quite inadequate and some even fake reviews of course I'm not saying this website is faking reviews but this is up to your judgment you have to be careful on the internet right now especially when you uh, read this kind of web uh, review websites because not all are genuine that is why I highly recommend you to go to webhostingtalk.com because this is uh, by far the biggest and the busiest forum 
on web hosting period and this is the web host uh, this is the uh, forum that i frequent uh, especially on the dedicated server hosting but you don't have to see the de dedicated hosting okay you can see here main forums web hosting forum you can see this you can see here it says discussion on all aspects of web hosting including past experiences both negative and positive choosing a host questions and answers and other related subjects so when you click here you can see many people giving reviews giving real life example of what really happened to them so let's say if you have already chosen a few companies on web hosting and you want to find out whether that company is really good in terms of support in terms of the uh, server uptime in terms of everything so if you want to know if you want to find out whether they are good or not just go to this forum click on web hosting forum this is this is for uh, shared hosting this is the shared hosting section and just read or better still just use the search function here let's see where is the search function yeah click here and let's say you want to find a company named liquid web for example and just press go and it will give a lot of searches on liquid web so from here you can see read the reviews of people who have used liquid web then it's up to your judgment you can judge by yourself and in fact i myself is using liquid web right now i am using liquid web you can see here it is liquidweb.com and i've been using this for more than three years but i'm using the dedicated server this because their support and the uptime is excellent they have 100 percent uptime and the support is really excellent and the data center you can see a lot of things even many big companies um, many big companies use liquid web for their web hosting server so, so this is just one of the good companies that you can find in fact I also recommend you if you want shared hosting go ahead go for liquid web you really can't go wrong even if you go to web uh, you go in search and you read all the reviews you can find mostly almost more than 90% Normally, when I read the reviews, more than 90% all have good reviews. All say good reviews, positive reviews about Liquid Web. So this is how you do it. Okay, now let's go on to um, registering the um, web hosting. So for example, let's say you want to take one web hosting. One thing you must make sure, if you want to take web hosting account, when you, want, when you are ready to get one, be sure that you already have your domain name. Okay? I've covered this in the uh, previous tutorial, in the previous video on how to get your own uh, domain name, how to register your namecheap.com um, account for free and then register the domain name. I've covered that. So make sure after you have the domain name, then search for your shared server. Okay, you can see this is the shared server. There are a few specifications. One is 1495 per month another one is 1995 per month so based on your specification um, you just just choose one of them okay let's say we choose this so I just click order now okay step one we will configure our service so this is the service that we will be getting with all this 60 gig of bandwidth so let's add to cart Then just click on checkout now. Okay, now you are supposed to fill in all your information: your name, company address, city, state, zip code, your country, your phone number, fax number, email address. Okay, this is the reason why I say you have to have your own domain name first. Because once you have your domain name, then you can just write here. That means you will register your domain name to this web hosting account. But, is it possible to register a web hosting without domain name? I mean, without buying a domain name first, yes? It, of course, it is possible. As you can see here, there are two choices. You can choose web, uh, Liquid Web to register the above domain name free on my behalf. So, many companies, uh, many good web hosting companies offer this kind of uh, services or this kind of special offers they give you free um, let's say one year free domain name so you don't have to pay that and then you just click on this 
or check on this uh, button, radio button, and just type in the domain name that you desire. But I also do not recommend you to do this. Why? Because most experts, many people recommend you to have separate, separate companies for your own domain name and web hosting because the most important is actually not the web hosting at uh it's just not the web hosting alone but domain name is very very important because there are thousands of domain uh sorry there are thousands of web hosting companies that you can choose from even if one web hosting company closes down okay which happen every month there are a few probably a few hundreds i'm i'm not sure the figure but there are a lot of wannabe uh, companies that start up uh, but fail in the end because uh, of many because of many things that happen they didn't prepare properly or whatsoever so let's say if you register your domain name together with the web hosting company then you are tied to that web hosting company so let's say if that web hosting company closes down so what happens what happens to your domain name this has happened before many times and many people uh, have experienced this bad uh, thing that happened really we do not want this to happen to you so try please uh, try to get a separate um uh, separate companies for your web hosting and for your domain name so buy a domain name from a company which specializes in domain names a registrar or reseller and then try and get your own web hosting account ju uh, just from web hosting companies who specializes only on web hosting companies because actually um I was one of the uh, victims so called I've once uh, registered a domain name together with the web hosting. Of course, of course, it's not Liquid Web; it's other web hosting but, uh, company. But I won't mention the name. And then the web hosting company closes down. Maybe went bankrupt or what? I don't know. But then I could not recover my domain name. In fact, that is the most important because people already remember your domain name. So people will remember your domain. They won't want. They they won't bother to ask you what's your web hosting company. So the domain name, the name. No liquidweb.com, whether army.com, amazingmarketing.com, whatever. That is the most important. So try to get separate. Try to use the service, the services separately, even though you get this kind of discount. So it's up to you. This is just an advice uh, based on my own personal experience and based on what uh, many others have uh, advised. So after you have uh, do this domain name, just choose, choose your password for your account and then you can just choose whether you want to pay by month or quarter, by semi-annually or by uh, annually. And normally when you pay more, you'll get uh, one or two months free. So your payment method, whether it's credit card or PayPal, once everything is done, just click on the submit button and your web hosting account is ready. So I think that's all for this uh, tutorial and we'll see you again in the other video series. Thank you.